refresh feeds. Um, it can means can mean a few things. Uh, first of all, let's check if your internet connection is uh, high enough. So let's go to the internet and let's go to Google. I'm already here and type in Google speed test. So let's click on this blue button here and run the speed test. So let's wait for that. As you can see, it may take a few seconds. So it says your internet connection is fast. So if your internet connection isn't fast, um, you need to go to your settings. So let's go back. Let's go to find the settings button and click on it. What you can do is click on the Wi-Fi and turn the Wi-Fi off. Um, because now it goes back to your phone data, using your phone data. And a lot of the time that's faster if the Wi-Fi connection isn't that good. So let's go back to settings. So if your uh, Instagram feed still can't refresh, let's go back and let's go to the App Store. And let's go to the search button and search for Instagram. So let's open up Instagram. And as you can see, you're going to look at the blue button over here. It says open, like now, open. It means it's good enough. But sometimes it, it says update, which means you need to update the Instagram app. So if you need to update the app, update it. And otherwise, you already have the latest version. Um, if you have updated the app and you still got a problem, we have a last solution for you where we can offload the app. And so let's back, let's go to settings again. And then let's go find general, click on it. And let's find iPhone storage. <coughs> so this may take some time because it's loading all of the apps I have right now. It can take about 10 to 20 seconds. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the Instagram app in a minute. And then we can offload the app, which means um, here we are. Click on Instagram. Here you can see the blue uh, button, which says offload app. If you click on this, it will clear your cache and reset some things. So you can offload it, go back to the uh, Apple Store and uh, download the Instagram app again. Um, and most of the times, this will make sure all of the errors and bugs are gone. I hope this helps. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help.